name is Jeffrey Messick. Uh, World Bird Sanctuary is located on 305 acres of Oak Hickory Forest here in West County, St. Louis, right across the street from Lone Elk Park. World Bird Sanctuary has four different facets, uh, the oldest of which and the first thing that we ever did at World Bird Sanctuary was rehabilitate injured birds of prey. And we rehabilitate between three and 400 every year and we have a 42% success rate getting them back into the wild and that's about 10% higher than the national average. We've got a great staff that takes care of the birds uh, and we have also great vets, volunteer vets that, that help us with the surgeries and the bone pinnings and they've become very, very good at that over the years that they've been with us, 15 years now. And uh, we're very happy about uh, the progress that we've made there in getting these birds, these injured birds back out into the wild. And one of the first birds that I ever got to train myself was a bald eagle that we called Abe. And um, I started training that bird in the fall of 1986. And um, more or less out of pure luck, he, he ended up being a great education bird, this, this bird that we call, called Abe. Um, so I have plenty of great memories of, you know, getting that bird up on the glove, you know, for the first few times that it ever was sitting on the glove and then getting it to feed from my glove and then getting it out in front of people, you know, a few people at first and then more and more people to eventually where we could have Abe out in front of a, a thousand people and he would preen and you know take care of his feathers and not even worry about that thousand people because we trained him correctly so uh, I have great great memories of, uh, of Abe the bald eagle unfortunately Abe passed away many years ago from uh, liver failure uh, well I would um, I would love to see one day that we had well, our, our numbers in rehab dwindled let's put it that way that um, you know we had fewer and fewer and fewer birds because people were becoming more and more aware of the birds in their environment and taking steps to help them. Um, that is why we are here at World Bird Sanctuary, of course, to not only help the birds that are here in the wild and at our facility right now, but to educate people so that uh, they want to help us save the birds too. And we're on our way. Well, of course, we deal with so many kids over the years and, and over any, any particular school year. And uh, we have programs set up specifically for youngsters, you know, five or six year olds that uh, the program might just go 20 or 30 minutes because of their attention span, but they're starting to learn how special birds are and that they do have problems, almost all of them because of humans and, and, and what we can do to help them. Turn off lights when they're not in use. Uh, the less fossil fuels that we have to, to burn, uh, which takes the carbon out of the air, which helps things get back to the, uh, the, the natural way, like winters might become colder, uh, certainly not continue to get warmer if we're, uh, if we're helping to conserve, and if not, find alternative methods for, for, uh, for, for our power. But uh, just th what, what we have now is coal, and, and we have to burn that. We need electricity, of course, for everything. So um, if just, just turning off a light, making sure that, you're, um, that you don't have a leaky faucet, um, only about 4% of all the water in the world on this planet is fresh water. And, and we waste water so much if, if, if you fix that leaky faucet, if you don't let the water run as you're brushing your teeth, um, if you recycle everything that you can recycle so our landfills become smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually maybe non-existent one day. Uh, they're all just simple steps that people can take to uh, to, to help save the environment.